crazy you just said that, right? Before I go into the next question, so I had an interview with a, uh, a preacher yesterday, literally, right? I'm a, I'm a Christian. Um, mm -hmm. I love Christ. But it is like, like all of us, I'll be having my questions. And I was mm -hmm. saying, like, you know, I'm a straight heterosexual man. Uh -huh. You feel me? Like, nothing gay about me, but I can sit in a room and I can have a conversation with a gay guy, like, and it doesn't make me uncomfortable. Yeah. It don't make me feel uncomfortable. But the thing about uh, Christian, Christianity sometimes, it, it confuses me because sometimes they'll preach about being gay, not being of the Lord, but then they'll say, like, God loves everybody. Do, do you ever, like, uh, what is your, re re are you religious at all? I'm religious. Mm -hmm. Um, love God. Mm -hmm. Was raised in the church. Okay. Um, was brought up in the church. And I love Jesus. Like I love like the energy because you know God is like an energy, a spirit, He's yes. like a spiritual being. He's in the atmosphere. Like I love that person. But as far as the church. As far as a lot of, of the, the things church. that go on in the church, mm. uh, the people of the church, a lot of that shit is fake as fuck. Mm. Um, it's a business. I'll mm. tell anybody that. I don't care. I've talked about it publicly before on live, but it's a conversation that you really can't, you have to have that conversation with an open-minded person mm. because people who have, this has been embedded in them, <laughs> it, it, it's really no having a conversation with them about that. But my beliefs in the way that I think a lot of this shit is, brainwashed um a lot of it was taught down from generations so they don't know uh, no other way but how i see it is god created me he made me who i am he gave me these emotions he gave me this way of thinking so he loves me so at what age did you first know you was gay because i was like seven. all right so and then at what age did you start thinking like yo god gave me this because you was brought up in the church you was never like uncomfortable in the church what, you, when did it snap you and you so learn you know what's so crazy? Since I've been like 12, mm. I, these, I ask my mother certain things like, when well, God this, then why this? I all, oh, I wish Lisa was sitting right here. I, Cause she would be my witness and tell you, I always been like that. Since I was 11 or 12 and say, well, if God is real, then why is five million kids in that country starving and don't got no food? Well, if God is real, then why would he make this person like that and didn't want to send them? I always was a very curious person. Mm -hmm. So then when I started getting older and I started going to church and it really expanded my way of thinking, and I'm like, oh, the first lady is a nasty bitch. Mm -hmm. That hoe ain't got no God in her. That is fake. Girl, you just playing your position as a first lady to get your check with your family. But you was a nasty bitch. God could never be using you to spread love to nobody when you don't even have love in yourself. And, and, and once I started getting to about 17, 18, and then I had went to this church one day, and the preacher, he literally changed his whole message and directed it to me and my friend. Because wow. he could clearly see that we was gay when we walked in the building. Mm -hmm. And he directed his whole message to us about homosexuality. He wasn't saying our name, but he was directly talking to us. So I had went to the barbershop the next day, and they was in the barbershop talking, and I was talking to my barber. And I said, yeah, we had went to church yesterday, and um, what is the pastor name? Because he is from my city, and I would love to post it. Um, what is his name? I can't really remember his name. But I said, Pastor such and such from such and such church had directed his whole message to us about homosexuality. He just was really trying to read us, go in on us. And he said, the pastor that been, had been cheating on his wife? Mm -hmm. He said, I think that's the pastor that be cheating on his wife. So he asked the other man that was sitting right next to him cutting hair. And he was like, is that the pastor? And he was like, yes. Remember, they posted his picture on Facebook with the girl. They had caught them out somewhere. And he was with somebody who wasn't his wife. And then the lady, the, the lady across, because she was a barber too, she was across from us. And she was like, yeah. I mm. remember that preacher had she so bitch fuck you and your how you gonna sit up there and try to preach to me about homosexuality which a lot of Christians do they pick and choose what they want to abide by the book by it's, they are they're good for that shit that's one of the things they're good for and then you just disregard the fact that you're not even faithful to your fucking wife you put your family at jeopardy but then you worried about who the fuck I'm laying down with so a lot of that shit I don't really be going for I live by being a good person mm. being a genuine person being a loyal person being right doing right and living my motherfucking life that's what i go by that's what god want me to do so it was in it was in that moment when you knew that it was like all right this shit is just boring. yes yes mm. it's in and don't get me wrong i like to go to work i like to go to church because it's the energy in the room too 
It's not even too much about the people. A lot of times it's the energy because I do know good energy and it's a lot of pastors out there who have good energy. They have a good message. But when you dig deeper as to far as to say like, am I so embedded in the church and am I like super religious? I'm not. Mm, okay. Okay. 